Well, come on in, everyone. We're just about to continue with more Child of Light. Last time, we met up with our dear sister Nora and fought alongside her for the first time. But uh, in between last time and this time, there was a very small failed recording where the audio glitched out. Audio did not take, so I only missed like five minutes of recording, but in the five minutes, I did level up, so that's pretty much all that's noteworthy. Another thing I did talk about, though, that is kind of important, is that outside of battle, you can use Igniculus to heal your characters. Using Igniculus's light to heal your characters outside of battle. Uh, sorry. Since Igniculus's light regenerates over time outside of battle, if you have the patience, then you're able to get free health recovery out of it. But keep in mind, it does take quite some time to get from nearly no HP to full HP. And hopefully I timed this right. I should have gone for Slash Hall if I was going to go for a very long cast time. Nope. And... I kept paying attention to him instead of him. That was my fault. My bad. I know I was missing something. But should we be able to fit a slash all in? And then just defend. In case that doesn't work. And of course it didn't work. But luckily we have a short cast time, which wasn't enough, because he has a fast move. Yes, I know defending stops me from being interrupted. I know you can turn off the tutorials, but there are some things that I do want to show with the tutorials, so turning them off isn't exactly the best option here. But this should take care of him. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, of course. The unnecessary critical at the end of the fight. Oh, man, it won't let me get those. But nor all of love kind of skill points. That all's, all's well there. How delightful, a carnival jester. Not yet. I'm on my way to a circus nearby. And how strong you are. I bet you could raise a lady real high, a real lady high. Show me one and I'll make. Show me one and I'll make an attempt. She means try. Um, oh, that's another thing that was missed out, but I can add those in after her. There'll just be no audio. Uh, was well, actually I can add the audio in post pretty easily, but each of the characters are pretty much introducing themselves to Nora, and they're all pretty nice. So I'll be sure to add those in post. Yeah. Also, drag the box from up there to down there to get the lever that's up there, which opened this door. And now there's a pig. But this pig does not have any illuminating ink. So it's not our... Well, <laughs> I was about to say it's not our man, but clearly it's not our man. Oh, and I actually don't know what determines it. I, I'm kind of curious now. I'll try to find out. And let you guys know what causes um, the healing or increments of Igniculus to go up. And that fight nearly got a level up on Finn, but not. Or, we did not nearly get one on Aurora because we did get a level up. I'm good at talking. But with that skill point, we'll be able to get counter attack. Definitely something good to have in our repertoire. Oh, and also, Nora leveled up. Must have missed that. <clears throat> I think I want Petrify level 2. Yeah, I'm gonna head for Petrify level 2. And in the meantime, grab some wishes. Although, didn't really actually have that hard of a time with that fight. Didn't end up too battered and bruised. But... Oh, and another thing. I, <laughs> I keep realizing things that happened in like that very short five minute episode. Is that we got um, confession number seven as well as the confession we got the other day 
that I didn't notice until in, we were in post in the Windy Valley place outside of the village. Uh, we grabbed one while we were flying by. But So I'm going to read this one at the start of this episode. Or not the start because I'm bad at organizing things. We're going to read it now and read the next one at the start of the next episode. My eyes wide, mirrored back, I touched the glass. Here by my hand, Sinbel daughter, Sinbel's daughter exiled, and me of Lemuria reviled. Painted smile, lo loyal Angus made her pass. Path, path closed to all but the criminal class, decreed since the ancient rift was tiled. A forbidden reflection untamed wild, fit for those beneath the chaotic mass. On this side, nothing moves, calcified. The explorers went in search of vision. Yet, with tradition, we ourselves imprisoned imprison new, frozen a reflection of the, of the past. The secret lies beyond my gaze, a journey vast. The, the glass I touch, touch I do, then fall through. And I can only guess they're alluding to the mirror. That seems to be a two-way passage, both from here, Lemuria to, you know, Earth, and from Earth to Lemuria. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here, though. So best to keep moving forward. The mirror, I fear it is there. The temple up in the air. We cannot fly that high. Perhaps there's a path through the sky? Let us ask someone nearby. Although it would be nice to find this. Hello? So you, you down there? Yep, yep. He has a mark on him. He's stubborn and have him, so we'll have to go around and we can grab that while the camera's pan down. Might as well use that. Use that on Aurora. Magic Stardust, use that on Finn. Magic Defense Stardust, who has the lowest? Rubella and Aurora. And that's it for the Stardust we have right now. And now I know where Achilles is. So our next objective is pretty laid out for us and yeah we're full on resource on the take care of this guy and that fight went very smoothly getting us to level up for Nora and Finn and that's it and with Finn's level up move closer to getting Monsoon 2 and with hers get Lol level 2 which is a 60% slow as opposed to a 50. So it's definitely a good thing. Who would have thought that a, fa a better slow is a good thing? I almost said a faster slow. And I actually ran straight into that. Pull this lever. Open that door, I assume. Yeah. So it's a puzzle, but it's not much of one. It's pretty straightforward. So now we we can head out, but I want to head down and get Achilles. Well, also there's this guy down here. Watch out for his arrow. Oh come on, that wasn't a surprise strike. Well, in that case, something that's very notable is that there's no penalty for fleeing. So, if we don't get the surprise strike on a fight that is pretty hinges and just part a bit on it, then don't fret. Um, let me get rid of the rock that's up front. Just make sure he's dead. Of course he went. Oh man. Okay, I get it, I have short attacks, so um, it's only fair that the enemy has short attacks, but man, I hate the enemy's short attacks. And he's still not dead, of course. And of course, this one's not going my way. This is one of the, my least favorite, actually, in the game, this is one of my least favorite groups to go against, is two rocks and an archer. 
One, because they're so fast. Um, okay, at least he's slouching. That means we should be able to get him. Not if he uses wooden dart. I forgot about that. See? I, I just... I actually hate that move. Oh man, so much. And please, Aurora, don't die. I hate that counterattack gave me enough time to... No. He was not going to attack. Okay. Let's just go for that. There we go. That felt better. I feel better now. But I still hate fighting this group. And usually I don't talk to our enemies that I've fought before, but I felt like it was important to mention how much I hate fighting this group. It doesn't actually matter what we use on him. He doesn't have any resistances, but he doesn't have any weaknesses either. Yay. Oh, Rebel leveled up. How nice. And it doesn't look like there's anything else down here. And let's see. Achilles is in our inventory. The famous flying mint hunting pig. Wow, let us. I think she said famous pig, I presume, and let us to the Capoli Zoom. We'll be taking care of that in a bit, but for now I'm the I'm heal up a bit. And then I'm gonna make my way past these spikes. I suppose I can do both at the same time, but I feel like that should be about the end of the area. We got the optional objective here, and might as well use the wishes we do have to heal Aurora some more. And also it does heal everyone else in the party for the same amount that it heals Aurora. Just like the, you know, bubble, bubble things at the end of a wish string. Doesn't look like there's much up here. I, mean, I could fight this guy. Actually, I really do want to fight that guy for his experience. But, man, I don't want to fight that guy. So, we'll take care of this guy first. Alright. And with the four party members, we're getting level ups pretty frequently. I assume that will only... Oh, and I forgot we never used Rubella's. And that will only increase in frequency as we gather more party members. Looks like there's something down there, but... I want to kill this guy. Alrighty, that wasn't nearly as bad as other fights with those kind of guys. Also, there's tons of oculi on these hills and in these fights. So, definitely, I and mean, obviously it's always worth it to build up our oculi collection. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have tons of these. Definitely want to turn those into tumbleds. Could stand to have more rubies though. But, honestly, at this point, it really isn't worth it to have rough of anything. So, like that. Now we can make two rough citrines. And then make a tumbled citrine. Doing all kinds of consolidating. And one more sapphire after this. And we'll wait a bit until we get a bit more, a few more oculi, before we end up actually re-equipping everyone. Trying out some new stuff. Another one of these peculiar, peculiar shrines. Got to double check if there's anything skyward. That doesn't appear to be. So go back to the ground. 
Come here, little band. Who's Tata on my land? Come here, little band. Yes, can I help you? Madam Capley, pardon me. A route to the elevated temple we seek. Don't ya, Madam Me. I ain't like them towny Capley. Oh, hey, they actually use it in a rhyme, so it is Capley, not Capoli. Don't trust him. I'm not some mint freak. Did you ever ask yourself, why does it taste so cold? They won't tell you. I have my theories. I appreciate the warning, but I really should be going. Wait, I see you carry oculi. I'll give you a series. You want to protect yourself? Here's a tip. Won't They won't give nah. You can combine oculi to make more powerful ones. You go figure out how. You can also assign oculi to those you trust. I recommend sharing. Now get out of here, little girl. I don't like the way you're staring. Um, how generous? Yeah, with that we get even more uh, rough sapphires. So, definitely want to make a faceted sapphire. And, well, we have a tumble diamond. So, we can make one more tumble diamond with the stuff we have to any other tumbled rubies. Oh, we actually didn't equip Nora at all. So we have one tumbled ruby and one rough ruby, so we don't have enough to make another diamond yet. Curses. But, we do have enough to make a citrine, which is what I know I'm, I'm hoping I'm remembering correctly, is what I want to give to. Increases the chance to bump targeted creature back 10%. I don't think that's the one I was looking for. What was the one I was looking for? Is it? Oh, it is. Tourmaline. He has a faceted tourmaline. Ugh. I'm sorry, Phineas, but I think that's better suited for her. Um, don't want the magic. Want 15% chance to cause paralysis for 6 seconds with any attack. So, with that, our... Um, Petrify has an even greater chance of petrifying, I guess. Let's see. We could make a faceted citrine. 10%. And actually, with her ability, that sets her further ahead on the timeline every time she def Well, not just when she defends, she just has less of a timeline than everyone else. With that ability, that's actually a super good idea. Because when she defends, it takes very little time to actually be ready to attack again. And... MP. MP is what we want for her, definitely. So we create a faceted emerald. Give her that. That, lo that allows her to cast one of her single target spells one more time. So it's definitely worth that. Um... So we need more stuff if we want to be able to create. And we could create another diamond now, but there'd be no point because we don't have enough to create a faceted diamond yet. So looks like that's gonna be it for this episode of Child of Light. Made our way across the plains a bit more and got more into Oculi. And in the next one, we'll be heading out to wherever this leads. But until then, keep on keeping on.